Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode 16 of I Create Content. All right, it's Monday. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. As you can see, I'm back in the studio after a one week road trip doing two conferences and shooting videos for you from hotel rooms. If you caught the exchange last week, you know that I was uh, talking about Lightroom and virtual copies and snapshots. Today, I just have a quick tutorial for you and I'm going to be discussing the adjustment brush in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, to use the adjustment brush, you're going to go to the develop module and I'm just going to grab the adjustment brush over here on the right. Now I have this lovely image of the wonderful Ashley Kimmel and what I want to do is not talk about the specific settings in the adjustment brush, but give you a quick adjustment brush tip. So I'm going to go ahead and set a restore point here back in the top corner. You can see the point is there. Okay, whoops, I actually have two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set one, and now I'll go ahead and just hide them, and I wanna paint, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint back here. Just takes a second, I'm gonna paint this side, the paneling that's behind her head, and then over on the left side of her, I'll just paint this paneling that's there behind her. And what I wanna do is talk about the slider settings, okay? So I'm gonna purposely bring the exposure up. I'm gonna purposely make a change to the brightness. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the contrast down. I'm going to bump up the saturation some. Uh, I'm going to pull back the clarity a bit, and then I'm going to add a color. Okay, and you may or not be able to see this color, but that's okay. Okay, I want you to notice that my color right here is at 95%. Okay, the hue is 85 degrees. So if you take a look, I have moved several faders. All right, so this is really what the tip is about for the adjustment brush. I have several faders that I've adjusted for this little background mix I've made, right? Now, it doesn't really matter what that mix is, but I've changed exposure, brightness, clarity, and a bunch of things all at one time. If I decide that I like that mix, but the overall mix needs to be pulled back, you can see on screen I would have several faders to adjust. Here is my quick tip for Monday about the adjustment brush in Lightroom. Take a very close look at the panel. It says the effect is custom. That's because it's my custom mix. Take a look to the right. I'm going to hover and zoom in. Notice that arrow. Watch what happens when I click that arrow. All the faders collapse and I have one single adjustment fader. Now I can scale back the entire effect all at once. So I'm going to go ahead and just scale this entire effect back. I'm going to expand that group by clicking the black arrow and I want you to see all the faders have been adjusted. In fact, the color was adjusted. If I click on the color, take a close look, notice I went from 95% saturation down to 55%. So that's my quick tip for you. You can click that arrow and do an amount adjustment to the entire adjustment brush. With the new UI change in Lightroom 3, a lot of people have overlooked that tiny little tip. So this has been episode 16, I Create Content. I'm AJ Wood. You see me Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the tips that you need related to Adobe products. So catch me on Facebook, Twitter, on Google+. Leave comments here on the YouTube channel or my blog, ajwood.com. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.